Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wogi, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, I'm gonna be talking about the Primal Dragon Trials because we actually know a little bit more about it now. So I kind of want to go over it, talk about some of the things that are coming for what looks like to be the next set of difficulties. This is definitely going to shape kind of what Dragalia is going to be like in the future because, yeah, it's a new weapon type. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It helps me a whole bunch. Um, it's really funny, actually. There's been some weird changes in YouTube that I've been noticing recently, so... <laughs> Whatever, anything helps. But don't worry about it. If you have anything to say about what we're talking about, you can, um, leave a like- uh, not, not, not leave a like, you should leave a comment <laughs> to tell me what's up. And subscribe to me if you want more videos featuring me. So, let's go into it. So, the Primal Dragon Trials. Um, let me just read because I was reading and I was going, what? What's going on here? So, a new series of high difficulty quests, Primal Dragon Trials, become available on 1223 at 22. Challenge the Great Worms with their Primal Might, restore and use the award to craft and upgrade new six weapons. Crescent Nihility will be afflicted at the outset of the quest in the Primal Dragon Trials. So, of course, Crescent Nihility, if you are someone who is thinking Crescent Nihility is going away, I have bad news for you. That was never going to happen. You're just going to have to put up with it or at worst just stop playing Dragalia unfortunately if it's that much of a deal breaker for you sad to see you leave but hey that or keep sending in feedback saying you would like some changes to it to like maybe make it not so rough for people who are energy focused I think that's the biggest problem is just it feels like it screws over so many units that just did not deserve to be screwed over uh it definitely needs a rebalance of some kind and I kind of hope that they eventually do it but that's beyond the point Primal Dragon Trials next. To bring about the true awakening of the woman who traveled a millennium through time, the Windworm recovers his primal powers and readies a trial. Can the Wind Auspex overcome the Tempest and unlock her true potential? What the hell does this mean? <laughs> I I actually thought like, because I haven't read the newest story, I'm like, did some crazy shit happen recently? But no, when I went on to... Um, uh, places like the reddit to see like what people were saying they're like what what do they mean what what who's traveling through time there's a wind auspex so i believe the current auspex is that we know um that are still kicking it uh that is are um Ilya and oh man i really don't like that the both of them start with a z name are the sister of <laughs> of the prince i cannot I keep wanting to call her Zendaya because I recently watched <laughs> Spider-Man, but her name is not Zendaya. It is Zena and um, Cynthia. Actually, I don't. One of them is the Auspex, the other one isn't. But a Wind Auspex is new to me, so it looks like we're going to be meeting a new Wind character who's the Auspex, who is traveling through time. Uh, hopefully, this means the return of a certain fairy girl who just so happened to turn into Wind Auspex because, hey, this is time travel, so it can be anywhere, even though it's pretty clear that that character is dead and gone. That doesn't mean that she can't somehow show up in the future for some weird way, but hey, let's see. Anyway, required might for Primal Midgar Somers trial standard is 22,000, pretty standard, 34,000 for expert, and master is 36,000. Okay. Is that all of them are going to be unlocked at once? Players must complete chapter. Yeah, we already knew that. So yeah, it looks like they're just going to be launching with all of them at the same time. So that's cool. New weapon series, primal dragon weapons. Powerful new six star primal dragons weapons will be added to the weapon crafting screen on 1223-2021 at 22 p.m. Or for me, that is, I believe, 10 p.m. Uh, you can use materials attained by the defeating Primal Midgar someone to craft wind-attuned weapons with a skill that deals damage, increases the user strength, and grants Primal Dragalia effect. Primal Dragalia is not- Primal Dragalia. Primal Dragalia is not affected by Curse and Ability, which removes buffs and nullifies their effects. We have found the Dragalia. The Primal Dragalia. Change the name of the game. It's been found. Uh, you must have first obtained the specific weapons before you can craft weapons using materials from Primal Midgarzoma. The required weapons are the wind attuned 5 star weapon that can be crafted using materials obtained from High Midgarzoma in Advanced Dragon Trials. The weapon that is required differs based on the weapon type for the weapon you wish to craft. Thank you for playing Dragalia Loss. So, we don't know the stats, because stats are going to be a big thing about whether or not they are... For all we know, the stat difference isn't going to be that high and it's going to be like i it's weird because it's been a while since the last time i 
to happen. But basically, when the the way I'm thinking, it's going to be exactly like the transition from High Dragon Trials to the Agido weapons, where it became immediately obvious that High Dragon Trials were immediately worse than Agito weapons. It just ended up being that way. The only thing they weren't worse in was in auto mode, it was better to have high dragon trial weapons because the AI actually knew how to use them. And they just never learned how to properly use the uh, Agito weapons. Even to today, they don't, they're not very good at it, but you just kind of put up with it. So with this move that now <laughs> buffs the user, makes them deal damage and then gives them an additional effect, in terms of effects, like the biggest uh, issue with uh, Nihility is that it has basically killed most Agito weapon skills. You have to always use a shared skill because in <laughs> there's really no point because the Nihility basically kills all the abilities of the Agito weapons. So it's better to just use a shared skill and get some extra damage that way. But if this one is super strong, it might be the new way to going forward. This is also six stars as opposed to five star. Um, actually, now that I think about it, it's been so long. Were the Agito weapons six stars? I actually want to say they are. One moment. Okay, yeah, they totally are. I forgot. I thought they were five stars this entire time because I've been basically treating them that way. But no, they're not. They're six stars. So, hmm. Maybe the stat change won't be that big and we will hopefully not have to deal with... Maybe there will be some cases where you'll want to use one over the other, but if I'm being 100% honest with you, I still think it's very likely that these new weapons are going to be more powerful than the Agito weapons. Like, in stats-wise, these I think they will be better. It just doesn't make sense to launch a brand new weapon type and then make it stat-wise the exact same. <laughs> or make it worse than the previous weapon, that just doesn't make any sense. So I fully expect them to be super strong. How much they're, how much stronger is gonna wait to see if there's gonna be a giant jump in power? I don't feel like there's been a giant jump in power as far as I can see anyway. Maybe some people who have the more the worm prints from the, um, I keep wanting to call it Trials of the Mighty, but it's not called it, the Sinister Dominion. Maybe they're super more powerful than me, but to be honest, I don't really feel like there's much of a difference. I guess that it, maybe it's because I've been playing Jagalia since day one, and I really do feel like the differences from the base five weapon to the high dragon trial weapon were huge. Going from high dragon trial to Agito weapons, huge. Going from Agito weapons and then getting supplemented by Worm Prince, it was like, eh, not really feeling that much of a difference. I'm always, I'm, I'm only just stronger. It only helped me in some areas. I don't feel necessarily like it did amazing, but maybe that's because I'm too lazy to actually grind them because the grind is such, so atrocious, so atrocious, <laughs> so bad. I hope it's going to be improved a little bit now, but yeah, that's kind of how we're, that's what we're looking for, for these primal dudes. I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to do a fight. I'm thinking I'm actually going to record a fight for this because it's thankfully against Wait, well, let me see, who do you bring to this one? So you get wind weapons. Does that mean you use wind units? Because in the original High Dragon Trial for Migurosoma, you got, did you get wind weapons? Dude, it's been so long since I've had to think about a weapon. I don't remember how any of them work anymore. Hmm. That's weird, but hey, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna see how it goes and hopefully it goes well. <laughs> But yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and comment and tell me how you feel about this stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.